Welcome to the Business Resource and Innovation Center's Business Databases Introduction Series. Today we will review Reference to USA, which is a collection of databases primarily used for demographic research on businesses and consumers, but also used for market research to gather information to perform a competitive analysis and to create business to business and business to consumer sales lists. Anything you want to learn about your consumer, whether it's an individual or a business, you can probably find it on Reference USA. To access Reference USA, navigate to our business services page at freelibrary.org business. Scroll to the bottom of the page and look for the link that says Premier Business Databases. Once you click on that link, you will be taken to a list of the 13 databases we primarily use for business research. They are listed in alphabetical order, so scroll until you see Reference USA. Once you click on Reference USA, if you're using your home computer, you will be prompted to enter your library card and PIN number. You will then be taken to the Reference USA homepage where you will see a list of the Reference USA databases. Today, we will specifically do an overview of Reference USA's U.S. Businesses Database, U.S. New Businesses, and U.S. Healthcare. U.S. Businesses profiles over 58 million operating businesses and 3.4 million closed businesses. U.S. New Businesses profiles over 1.9 million new businesses with approximately 50,000 added with its weekly updates. And finally, U.S. Healthcare profiles 675,000 doctors and 180,000 dentists, searchable by name, geography, age, gender, medical school attended, specialty, and more. It's important to note that Reference USA's databases use similar search functions. So learning how to navigate one of the databases will enable you to successfully navigate the others. Now we're going to perform a basic business search using U.S. businesses. Once you enter the U.S. Businesses database, you want to make sure to click on Advanced Search. We will be using Advanced Search for all of our Reference USA searches today. Once you get to the home page of U.S. Businesses, you will note in the center we have a constant variable, which is record type. Record type denotes the status of the business we will profile by being verified, which means Reference USA was able to verify the business's important details like phone number, location, and accurate and timely filing of taxes. Unverified, which does not mean that the business isn't legitimate, but means that Reference USA was not able to verify important details of the business. And also closed businesses, which sounds exactly like what it is, businesses that have recently closed. If we search verified businesses, you will see that our record count is at 15 million, as opposed to the 58 million that the database profiles. If we were to search each of these record types, we would get a total of the 58 million businesses that Reference USA profiles. On the left toolbar, you will see a number of choices that you can use to limit your search. Anytime a search parameter is chosen on the left side, it will populate in the center. You will want to update your count each time you add a search criteria, just to make sure you have the accurate number of records based on your search. If we start a search, we always suggest starting by business type. If you click on keyword SIC NAICS, it will allow you to input the industry that your business operates in or the business you want to search operates in. You can search by SIC or NAICS both are industry classification systems that the United States uses to classify its industries. The SIC system is the older system and the NAICS system is the newer system that is updated regularly. Searching all and searching primary is also a distinction you want to make. If you search all, all SICs or NAICS codes, you will get businesses that operate in the industry code that you are searching, but may also operate in other industries, like Target, for example. They sell electronics, food, pet supplies, and more. So they would operate under NAICS codes and SIC codes for all of their, those product categories. If you search the primary NAICS or SIC codes, it will allow you to find businesses that only operate 
in the industry that you enter. For example, Best Buy for electronics. I'm going to keyword search my chosen industry for beauty salons. And I'm going to use search primary NICs only, just so I can get businesses that only operate in that industry. As I type, you can see that the search results are populated as I type. If you click on any choice, it will highlight in blue and it will go under the selected. You want to update your account and you will be able to see an accurate record count of all of the businesses that operate in the industry you just entered. Next, we like to limit by geography. You can do a map-based search where you can draw a shape on a map. You can search by city or state, zip code, radius of an area, and even a street address. For our example, we will start with city and state. We suggest starting big, and then you're able to hone in and narrow down your search results based on what you get. So if we click city and state, we're going to scroll down and we're going to type in Philadelphia. We're going to choose the city and state, and then we're going to update our account again. We now have 988 results, which is very different from the 15 million we started with. If we view our results, we will get a list of business records based on our search criteria. 988 is a great number of results to go through, so I'm going to show you a way that you'll be able to see the big picture and then narrow in based on what you're looking for. Before we do that, if you're just looking to get business information, you can click on an individual business profile and be able to view pertinent information about that business. At the top, you'll see the business's name and address, a phone number if they have one listed. Under their industry profile, you'll be able to see what NAICS or SIC codes they operate under. If you scroll a little bit further, you'll be able to see business demographics, such as the location employees, um, their annual sales volume, if they're a single location or a branch, as well as other information about their tax filings. You may be able to see management, and also estimated business expenditures based on their location and sales volume. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll also be able to see a competitor's report, which will show you competitors of this specific business. If you scroll back to the top and use the back button within the database, you'll be taken back to our initial list. If you want to see all of your results in a big picture, we advise using the heat map function. The heat map allows you to see all of your search results in one map. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see how all of the businesses are laid out throughout the city. Wherever you see red, it means that there's a higher instance of that type of business in a specific location. You can zoom in to see this map closer. And as you get closer, you will start to see that those green and red marks will become place marks that you can actually click on to get more information about the business. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can also see a listing of the top zip codes based on our results. You can choose to take certain zip codes and limit your search even further by inputting those zip codes in your next search instead of using the city and state. You can save, download, and print all of your results if you click the back button within the database and go to download, print, or save search. If you save your search, you will have to create an account, but every time you log into Reference USA, you will be able to access your search. You can download records up to 50 at a time if you're using your home computer, up to 150 if you're using the city library's computer, and you can also print your results. This is a great way to create a database for yourself so that you can start to profile your competitors, businesses like yours, um, other businesses you may want to work with, so on and so forth. We will now explore new businesses. If you click on the Reference USA icon, it will take you back to our initial Reference USA database page. If you click on US New Businesses, Advanced Search, which we always want to use, you will see that the layout looks very similar, except there is a lower number of record counts, and we have some different selection choices on the left toolbar. We want to start by choosing a keyword or SIC code to search by. We're going to choose restaurants for this example. 
when we type in restaurants and click on search, we will see that restaurants is listed in the top result. So we'll click on that and click update our account. We're now limited to approximately 41,000 results. We now want to limit this based on geography. So you can choose to do a map-based search, a city-based search, or any other search you would want to do geography for geography. We're going to choose city and state. If I type in Atlanta, we'll choose Atlanta, Georgia. And let's update our account. We have 97 new businesses that have opened in Georgia with just the search criteria we put in. Now, if we want to find out even more information about the time frame in which these businesses opened, we can click on date ranges. If you click on date ranges and scroll down, you can search for businesses that open as little as last week to the last two years. You can make this search as customizable as you want based on your specific needs. If we view our results, we will see a similar list of businesses. We will be able to view their profiles and get more information about them. They may have less information readily available because they are new businesses, but it will give you an inkling as to what businesses are moving into certain areas. You can also use the heat map function in this feature, as well as save, download, and print your results. Lastly, we are going to explore the US Healthcare Database. If you scroll down, click on US Healthcare, you can search for physicians and dentists by name, title, gender, and age, office name, geography, specialty, and more. Again, we always want to click on advanced search, and then you'll be able to make your customizable search. If we didn't know any information about the practice and we wanted to find a doctor, what we could start with is a geography search. So let's start with city and state. We want to find a doctor in Philadelphia, PA. We'll update our account. And we now have 10,000 results. That's still a pretty big number. So what we can do next is choose some more information about the type of practice we're looking for. We can choose our primary SIC, which will allow us to choose whether we want a doctor or a dentist. We're going to choose physicians and surgeons and then update our count again. We're now limited to around 9,000 results. We may want to choose a specialty in this instance. So if we click on primary specialty, we can now filter based on the specialties these doctors operate in. Let's click on allergy and update our account. We now have five results, which is a much more comprehensive list than almost 1,000. If we view our results, we will get a list of our five physicians, and we can then explore their profiles. If we click on the office name or the doctor's name, it will take you to the profile, and you'll be able to see information such as the doctor's name, the medical school they attended, the year they graduated, if they accept health plans, their specialties, and more information if it's available, as far as their practice, where it's located, and how you can contact them. You can also use the heat map feature in this function, but if you have a limited number of results, it may not be necessary. Those are the databases that we are going to explore today on Reference USA. Thank you for watching.